Super Tuesday now setting the pace in the race for the White House. Hillary Clinton emerging with a commanding delegate lead for Democrats and Donald Trump seemingly unstoppable. ABC's chief White House correspondent Jonathan Carl and our entire political team tonight in our Times Square headquarters on Trump's victory, sparking an anyone but Trump movement. John? What a night, Juju. We're joined by our panel now. And Matthew Dowd, this really was Super Tuesday. But it was also Trump Tuesday. A big, big day for Donald Trump in the course of this. I mean, he had, he had won New Hampshire, he had won South Carolina, but this was the big day. This was the delegate hall in the course of this. And he basically met expectations for himself. This has been an amazing evening. Already we've won five major states, and it looks like we could win six or seven or eight yeah. or nine. Yeah. The great thing for Donald Trump is not only is he accumulating delegates, but because the other candidates in the course of this won a certain share, Marco Rubio and Ted Cruz, it makes them live another day. And if four candidates live another day, it's helpful for Donald Trump. Yeah, who, uh, who's to say that Marco Rubio is going to win his home state absolutely. of Florida? Absolutely. So far, he's behind in the polls. Uh, John Kasich is counting on his home state of Ohio. But he's uh, behind in the polls there, <laughs> the, some of them. This, this could go to the convention. Okay, so, Bill, Crystal, you have been trying to stop Donald Trump for some time. Well, first, I guess you were a little bit in denial. Um, right. But, uh, but, I mean, can he be stopped? I kind of like being in denial. You know? it's, it's generally a healthy psychological. It's a healthy psychological state, often compared to facing reality. I think he could be stopped. Look, he did. He had a good night. Counting even the first four states, which he did voted for four tonight, it looks like he's going to have about 35, 36 percent of the popular vote cast so far. About 40, 42 percent of the delegates so far. He's not above 50 percent. Now it's very hard to see any of the other candidates getting to 50 percent. I, I don't think it's true that getting other candidates out helps the anti-Trump cause at this at, at this point. The fact because, is because you need to keep him from getting 50. But you know, yes. one of the big questions of this entire campaign to me is we now see actually tonight announced a big renewed effort to stop Donald Trump. What took so long? Why now? Well, I, I, we might have been better to have done it earlier because there was too much tactical thinking about, gee, if I take Trump down here, we'll help Cruz and I prefer Rubio or I prefer Kasich or I prefer Jeb Bush. I mean, think about this. Jeb Bush is super. They're now going to put in 10, 20, 30 million dollars, which is a lot of money for people like you and me. But Jeb Bush's super PAC had 120 billion dollars. Yes, what if some of that? Very little bit on what Donald if that, Trump. What if that? What very little on Trump? What if that had been spent? It's, it's a waste Donald of money. Trump? Donald Trump is redefining, as Matt said today, uh, he's redefining the Republican Party. He's energizing the Republican electorate. So all of his money is just going to just right. melt away because I think Donald Trump has found a way to not just you know, grab those voters who are disgusted with the with the politics in the Republican Party, but he's been able to tap into something that might even give Democrats a little bit of heartburn. And it's, and it's they have not come up with one disciplined argument against Donald Trump that has been exercised and done in a concerted way day in and day out. It's all been all over the map. Even Marco Rubio's last week, which is right. was some tiny bit of substance, but mostly name-calling that I don't think was helpful for Marco Rubio as we see in the results tonight. We'll win Florida. I'm confident of that, especially when we have two weeks to explain to the people of the state just exactly what we're getting with Donald Trump, a world-class con artist. I think they have not have had the ability to exercise one argument that was definitive against Donald Trump. Jeb Bush spent $77 million in television advertising and didn't break double digits. I think that uh, television stations are getting rich off of, uh, <laughs> off of false promises because it's not working. But we just don't know. The only thing I say is every other frontrunner has survived a huge assault on television. And we don't know what would happen if real money were put behind some of these attacks uh, and exposing of the true record. Of Donald Trump. Okay, before we but wrap up, big night for Hillary Clinton, though. How big? Yeah, huge. I believe deeply that if we resist the forces trying to drive us apart, we can come together to make this country work for everyone the struggling, the striving, and the successful. If we all do our part, we can restore our common faith in our common future. So Hillary Clinton will accumulate a lot of delegates, and as we learned eight years ago, once you begin to pick up delegates, it's very hard for Bernie Sanders, who is a great candidate, it's very hard for him to play catch-up. Is it up. over? No, it's not quite over, but we have a lot of states at play, similar to what we saw tonight, Mississippi, Louisiana, North Carolina, states Florida, states that, once again, will give her a lot of delegates. All right, well, we're out of time. Juju, back to you. Our thanks to our political powerhouse team for the post-game analysis.